Okay, whether you're using an Android or an iPhone, you should have it in your Casa app. And we're going to open it up here. A way to set up to where you enable one device and activate it, it causes another device to activate. So let's go look at uh, the devices here. For this example, I'm going to turn on a light switch in my bedroom, which is also going to activate the fan for that room. Now, I have a lot of devices in my house. Plugs, lamps, you know, you name it. The wall switches I've replaced. But you don't have to find a device. Just go to the bottom and click on Smart. And you get another screen here where you can add either uh, scenes or, in this case, Smart Actions. Now, you can see here I already have a couple done. But those are mostly timers to turn something off automatically after it's been on for a certain length of time. So clicking on the plus sign uh, starts the menu up. So the first thing you want to do is say when. Okay, so we're going to add a trigger. So the trigger is going to be the device you turn on, what you, uh, action you take. So I'm going to go find uh, my, bath, my bedroom light switch and uh, use it to trigger another device. So once you have to do that, you have to decide if you want this action to take place when you turn it on or you turn it off. So I have it for on. So whenever I turn it on, this other action is going to take place. So as you might expect, then I have to decide what this action I want to do. So I'm going to control another smart device. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to go find my bedroom fan. In this particular case, uh, I'm going to want it to turn on. So I have to do the same thing. Select the fan. And then what action is going to happen when it gets activated by the scene. And there it is. Turn on. So I'm going to click on the done button in the top right. But before you do that, you can go use the back button and go back and actually add more actions by clicking on the plus sign again. So if we hit the uh, back arrow key, uh, you'll see that is add another device or add another timer, whatever we want to do. You can even go down to the bottom and click the delay and set the timer for this particular thing to happen a certain amount of time after the first action. And lastly, uh, once you're done with that, you just click on the next button and you'll be able to name your action, your new smart action or whatever you want. Something descriptive to, so you can remember out of all the uh, dozens of uh, actions you may create here. Now, after you're done naming it, there's one last thing you can do. You've gone to this next section down, you'll see that there's effective time. What's important about this is that some actions you don't want to happen every single time you turn a light on. So I can only want this at certain days of the week, uh, certain hours of the day. It all depends on how I want to set it up. Because remember, every time you activate that switch, it will turn on the other device. So you may not want that all the time. Uh, this particular, like I said, this particular action is sort of a silly example. Uh, but you just go through here and say, when do you want this routine to be operable? When do you want it to be able to take effect? And you just turn off the days that you don't want it or only have a single day, maybe a single hour where when you come home, you want to turn on a light and the fan comes on or something. So just be careful how you do this. And you can come up with a schedule for it. So if we watch here, you'll see how I'm doing that. I'm, there's a 9 a.m. time every day of the week. And I just simply change these around uh, to whatever I want uh, and do that. I just simple toggle the days and uh, turn them on and off till I got the schedule that I want. Um, and then you can turn them on all the time and it'll say always. And once you're done with that, then uh, you should see it uh, show up uh, in your list of all your stuff. And there it is. It's now been added uh, to the uh, list of your smart actions. It even has a little new tag. So if you have a long, long list, you can see your one you're working on. Uh, quite easily. Now I have a saying, I might have picked it up in the military years ago, and this is, what if you don't test, doesn't work. So you always test. Now our fan is pretty old. It's separate power and fan switches, so it's not a new uh, integrated one. So there's the fan and there's the light switch, or the dim dimmer switch. So now with this new routine, that fan should not only have the lights turn on, but a couple seconds later we'll see the fan come on. So, if I press the power there and not the fan switch, there's the lights and there's the fan being activated by the uh, smart routine. So, this is a very simple routine, not even that useful. I just use the fan because it's a visual representation that another action has taken place. Uh, you can build routines that are super complicated, do all sorts of things uh, over your house. 
Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video. If you want more, don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description of this video.